Hey everyone, Chris here, and welcome back to The Long Drive. If you missed out last time, I found more Hyperzine and a second turbo, which was honestly a bad idea since this car was already really fast. Now it's just way too fast and it's absolute death trap. So I kind of got the idea of trying to build a camper van or truck sort of thing, since I think a heavier car might handle better and overall lead me to crashing and dying less. Hey, and if you look at that, there's already kind of a truck here. I don't know if that's quite the setup I want, but I mean... Let's see what it has. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, this thing's absolute garbage. I don't even think it has a fuel tank. Hello? Oh gosh, this guy's coming in kind of hot. Ooh. Come on, buddy. But I mean, I do have this. I could kind of just put that there, fill it up with gas, throw wheels on. And I think we can make it work. I, I really like the space back here. I'm kind of thinking maybe we put a bed, a fridge, all the kind of necessities. Also did install the attach anything mod. So yeah, I could just throw stuff on the side. So yeah, 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 let's try this out. Just give me a second to, you know, maybe try to throw everything on here. Okay, if I'm being honest, this actually doesn't look all that bad. Still missing quite a few items, but I think all the core stuff is there. We got the radiator engine. Of course, the twin turbos are still popped in there. And if we take a look inside here, this is actually probably the most organized I've ever been. See, I got like food, cleaning supplies, uh, Jeffrey the giraffe, of course. He's very important. Uh, my AK-47, and kind of all these jerry cans are nice on the wall. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the driver's seat. I actually haven't tested <laughs> to see if this runs or not. Uh, let's see. Okay, turns on. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Uh, we're missing all the information displays here, like speedometers and all that. But eh, we've never really had those to begin with, so I think we're fine. How's it look from the outside? Not bad, not bad. And I'm kind of hoping the Attach Everything mod prevents some of those glitches where you just crash into things. So we'll see how that goes. Oh man, do I want to stop over there? Eh, sure, why not? Gives us a better chance to really test this thing out. But yeah, I think the weight is actually kind of helping that we're not so, you know, kind of top heavy, which is kind of odd. I thought this would be actually a little bit worse, but Seems pretty good so far, if I'm being honest. Oh man, and we got a little nice camper van here too. I was really debating between doing one of those or these. What the heck is that guy doing? Okay. Just, uh, popping a squad over there. But yeah, let me know down in the comments which one you guys like better. Because again, this does not seem bad at all. Look at all the space over here. Oh, I could even take the seats out. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And this guy's kind of creeping me out, so, um... Yeah, let me, let me take care of him. That's... Oh, oh! Okay, I did not need to see that. And his face is like stretched into the wall. What's going on here? Oh, that's so weird. Uh, but yeah, not gonna, not gonna question that too much. Okay, well, there is a fridge here. So let me try and stick that in the back of the truck if I can. Oop, is it gonna fit? I think it might. Oh, we're in, we're in. Okay, okay. Now the question is, will it stand up in here? Probably not, but I mean... Oh, I think it's just a little too tall. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh my gosh, it actually does stand up. Okay. I think it was just uh, the sausage over here that was kind of colliding with it. So let's put that over here. Uh, it's a little too big to really fit perfectly. But let's see if we can maybe, you know, toss it in this corner. That way it's less of a nuisance. Oh my gosh, this is actually ridiculous but awesome at the same time. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. See, now we could open it up, throw all our food in there. Man, we're really going to be living the life this episode. Yeah, I gotta say, I think we're doing pretty well in here. Why don't we have a little bit of a snack there, or breakfast, I guess. And hey, look, we even got some water here. See, nice assortment of drinks and food. I think we're going to be set for quite a while with that. I went ahead and painted this kind of green. I don't know if I'm really set on that. I also stole a door. I think I also have to steal some headlights, yeah. Luckily, this is right there, so let's go ahead and grab these. I think the van's being... Okay. Thanks, Mr. Rabbit. Now we just need the front grille and the actual parts for the car. Oh, you know what? I should also probably actually take these, right? I think our car was missing a few of those. Let's see if one of these maybe fits there. Yeah, now we can actually see how fast we're going. Man, we have actually quite a bit of space here for other modules. Let's see if this one fits there. Um... It's a little bit big, but I think it'll work. So what does this one say? So gas, oil temp, and I'm actually not sure what that is. I think that's maybe supposed to be the RPMs. Okay, well, I think we've got just about everything we're going to get here. 
Oh my gosh, this window slides. Oh my gosh, I love all the little details in this game. Okay, let's get back on the road and see what else we find. I'm actually surprised this episode is going so well and we're finding everything. And we haven't even crashed yet. I mean, I'm saying that probably way too early and maybe something back here is going to cause issues, but... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Alright, let's give it a little bit of gas here, see what type of speeds we can really get in this thing. Heck, we can even actually see. So we're already over 120. Getting 140. We're gonna go past maybe 160. Uh, probably. Here the turbo's kicking on. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I know I'm driving off the road, but this is still much more stable than the car. Yeah, that thing used to be leaning every side, but this is actually incredible. Yeah, super manageable. And I think we honestly still have a lot more speed left in us. Let's see, let's try to overtake this car because this road seems a little bit straighter here. What are we at? Maybe... 170? Oh, zooming past him. Yeah, we're probably closer to about 200 right there, but... I see that turn, and I don't want to go flying off the edge, but yeah, absolutely no wobble or anything. So I think this was definitely the right choice for this amount of power. Alright, looks like we're coming to stop number two over here. Are those fridges? I think they are. Sorry, I'm having too much fun with this little window. Okay, let's see what we got inside. So metal detector. Oh, is this? No, this isn't for our truck. Let's throw that to the side. We got another engine here. This one's a 6.8. I don't remember what ours is, but we'll check that after. Ooh, I do think this is actually for our car. I think it's the little latch kind of tank looking thing that goes over here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's super rusted, so I'll definitely be cleaning that in a bit. Okay, went ahead and restocked the fridge with even more food. Uh, um, hmm. I mean, it's kind of small for the car, but it actually doesn't look all that bad. I think I'll leave it on for now. Uh, let's see if we could check how big our engine is. I think I can move my head. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, 6.1, and that one was a 6.8, I think it said. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, so this one's actually a little bit bigger. Uh, you know what that means, I'm definitely going to switch it out for even more power. Let me go ahead and grab some cleaning supplies. Oh, okay, there this is. Uh, <laughs> I tried attaching it to this wall, and I thought it was stuck inside the wall. I was worried that was going to cause us some issues later. Let's see if we can get some of this rust off this bumper. Yeah, not too bad. I think it could use a little bit of spray. Now yeah, let's check out this hatch looking thing, I guess. Okay, that's actually not looking too bad. Did have to remove it, but hey, look, we could just kind of pop in maybe. Hello? Is this actually not? Oh, okay. There we go. I don't know what the use for that is, but yeah, I'll keep it on. Okay. I think that's just about everything here. Let's give this a quick test run. I don't really know if we're going to feel that much of a difference from a 6.1 to 6.8 engine. I mean, still pretty quick. Especially considering how heavy this thing is. I think the main thing is that the acceleration isn't as fast. Oh, almost killed that bunny. Not that that would have been a bad thing necessarily. But hey, we actually are getting some pretty considerable speed. Ooh, I don't like that thunking. That's usually a bad sign that something's glitching out. Oh, what the heck? Was, wasn't there? I could have sworn there was a whole dang bus there. Uh... Okay, maybe it's just the desert mirage or something. Okay, we actually are kind of struggling a little with uphill performance. Uh, slowly losing speed, but... I mean, it's a pretty steep incline for such a big truck. I mean, we do have Hyperzyne, twin turbos, a 6.8 liter V8 engine. So I kind of thought we'd be doing better, but eh... It's still managing, I think. How fast are we going still? Yeah, still about 80 kilometers. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I had my first crash, but... It actually wasn't that bad. It was just me not paying attention to the road, and my fuel tank fell out. Not bad. But, I mean, this thing is literally a tank. Though, I don't think I have to worry about super deadly crashes. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Uh, tis but a scratch. Oh, gosh. Oh, whoa, we just decimated that car. Yeah, I think if I was still in my small car, I would have been dead right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's a thing to worry about. Oh my god, he's driving like a madman. What the heck is he doing? And he's gone. Okay, I mean, I guess while we're here, <laughs> might as well come back here, grab a little, you know, snack. We've got so much food. Yep. Uh, I am actually a little bit low on water, I think. Oh, got half a liter there. So we definitely need water at the next stop. 
This says blood again, but it's hyper sign, I think. Yeah, that crash was definitely my fault. I was on the left side of the road there. Hey, 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 if that guy hits me, that's not my fault. He's just launching out of nowhere. Oh my gosh, that's wild. Oh, it's kind of a truck. Don't see a lot of those in the game. At least I know this truck can take a hit without having to worry about it too much. Oh, yeah, speaking of. Uh, should focus on the road, huh? All right, we got one of these outposts, which is kind of good, because maybe I could steal some parts from that truck. Oh! What even is that? I think that's just a mirror. And something else fell off over there. I think it was a light. Yeah. I mean, if I'm being honest, do I ever actually use the mirrors? No, not really. Uh, I don't know where it really went. So we'll, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, let's grab this light. And what the heck is over here? How did that come out from inside the car? Okay, that's just ridiculous. I don't think I can fit through here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh-oh. Can I go backwards? Okay, okay, okay. I've never seen that. These zombies are acting really crazy today. I don't know what's going on with them. Look at them jump over there. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, and it's not a full truck. It's just another trailer. Yeah, no way am I getting that. I mean, I maybe have the power for it, but uh, maybe at some point in the future I'll do it, but definitely not right now. Okay, got some blue spray paint. Oh, that was kind of a weird fall. Just started sliding. Okay, found some water here, so that's good. Also got some spray, and then let's look for that bed. I swear I saw it around here somewhere. I think it was over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really hope this fits. Okay, is this bus going to let me pass, or is it going to run me over? Uh, yeah, I think... Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, luckily he didn't fit. I think I would have been dead there. Okay, let's see if we could kind of slide this in maybe sideways. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. On. Oh. What's going on here? Okay, I think it's in. Nice, nice, nice. And now to put it kind of flat. Somewhat, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I think that's better than before. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I might be here a while. Okay, okay, I think this is it. Can I attach? I can attach it. Bruh, I literally have a bed here. And a freaking fridge. This is awesome. And hey, would you look at that? It's actually getting kind of dark. Um, how about we try out this new bed? So I just lay down there and go to sleep. Would you look at that? Truly living the life here. Oh, you know what? I don't think I actually laid down on the bed. I think I was just sitting on the side of it. Okay. Yeah, there's like six seats. But hey, at least it works. And man, this is turning into a massive traffic jam over here. Okay, and I did also see this kind of couch looking thing. I don't know if we have enough space or if it'll really attach. Maybe? Oh my gosh, we can. Yeah, oh my gosh, we, we literally have kind of everything here now. Oh, oh, okay, I thought I couldn't get off. Yeah, we have a couch, we got a bed, we got a fridge. This is legit as heck. Yeah, I think this truck was definitely the right choice instead of the little van. I mean, I literally have enough space for a bed and sofa and fridge and everything else. Yeah, not too bad overall. Really happy with the setup. Now I just need some more of the body parts like the door. And I'm not sure if those kind of open parts on the top can maybe have latches or something. I think there are some, so I'll probably have to look for those. And yeah, just missing a lot of stuff, even in the front there. But really happy overall with how this worked out. I'm honestly just still amazed we have a whole living quarters back there. So how about we leave it there for now. Next time we'll see if we can find all that stuff and really deck this thing out. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching and see you next time.